boys and girls. We're here with Miss Hill. We're at the Haggerty Farms Pumpkin Patch. Hi, friends. We're going to show you some of our pumpkins and gourds that we have here at our patch. We're going to start over here. Oh, these are pretty. Those are called snowballs. Oh, man. And they're little white pumpkins. And some people make pie out of these pumpkins. They're Ooh, the kind of pumpkins yummy. you can eat. So they make a yummy pie. Can you guys see it? They make pies out of these, and it's so pretty. I love it. Mm -hmm. And then next, what we have is what's called a gourd. And a gourd is kind of in the pumpkin family, but it's a little different. And there are some of these that are shaped like, what do you guys think the shape looks like? What do you think they look like? I think this one looks that's like a starfish. That's exactly what they are. They're called star gourds, and they're oh. all different colors and textures this one's really bumpy it's got different colors oh that's awesome yeah that oh fun? this one is smooth you guys see it it looks just like a starfish look i can turn it over so you guys can see it's awesome yeah okay miss so let's keep coming down and see what we have here these are really neat they're another kind of gourd yeah. and they it looks like a squash, right? Yep, it's, it it's, like, it's a like a squash. And these are called wing. Do they kind of like the wing? Look like the wings of a bird? Oh, cool. Right, right. So they're oh, called wing gourds. Wing gourds. Mm -hmm. You guys hear that? These are wing gourds. These are these are kind of scary looking. <laughs> At least I think so. Can you guys see it? Look at this one. Wow. Now, can we eat these? I don't think gourds are great to eat because they're so hard. I'm not sure you could eat a gourd. Okay. But definitely the white pumpkins are a good choice for trying to eat. That's good to know. Wow. Then the last gourd I want to show you in this side that's really fun. See if you guys can guess a name. Oh, man. It kind of looks like a swan almost. Oh, my goodness, Miss Hill. Oh! Get that. And I guess that one, it looks like a swan. Those are called swan gourds. Oh, I like these. These are pretty, aren't they? They are pretty. And these are kind of fun. You know what some people do with these is they let them dry out. Okay. And then they drill a hole in them and they make them into a birdhouse. Oh, cool. So they hang them onto the things and they have birds, little swallows, little teeny birds live that in them. That can live in them. Mm -hmm. Wow. I like these. Those are fun. And then these are really fun pumpkins. They come in lots of colors. Some oh. are peach. Ooh. Oh. You want to a peach one? I've never seen a peach one. This one's green. Oh, this is super cool. And these are called heirloom pumpkins. Heirloom pumpkins. You guys got that? Because I'm going to ask questions at the end. Heirloom pumpkins. Okay. And there are some You think so? Oh, wait. I don't know. I don't know about that one. He's kind of funky. Well, I see another funky one. Look at this one. Let's see. Oh, wait. Very, very warty, guys. <laughs> and what's the name of this one again? These are called heirloom pumpkins. Heirloom pumpkins. You got that, guys? Those are heirloom pumpkins. I'm still thinking that the snowballs are my favorite. <laughs> Okay, so now we have over here our traditional carving pumpkins. And this is the kind of pumpkin that most people use to make a, what's a pumpkin with a face cut out of it? Do you guys know what that's called? Do you know what it's called? Can you guess? Okay, we're gonna tell you. It's a jack-o-lantern. That's what they use to carve out jack-o-lantern. Do you guys know the steps in making a jack-o-lantern? You know what the first thing is you do? Most people, Cut the top first, and then you've got to dig all the insides out. Oh, right. Dig all those out. You know what's inside this guy? What do you think's inside a pumpkin? What do you think's inside? You guys got to remember, it's something that you can eat. Well, you can eat everything, pretty much a lot of stuff in the pumpkin, but it's a pumpkin seed. And 
Is there a special name that they call the all the goop inside? I don't know if there's a fe special name, but there is stuff inside, all the inside of the pumpkin. You scrape that out, and then you can carve your fun design. Oh, cool. Isn't cool. that great? Does that remind you of what we did when we carved our pumpkins? Oh, did you guys count the seeds that you got out of your pumpkin? We didn't count the seeds. There were so many. There was way too many. <laughs> That's a lot of count. fun. Yes. Okay, so let's go on over here to the other side. You want to pan all these pumpkins, Grace, so they can see them all? That's a lot of pumpkins, guys. <laughs> That's a lot of pumpkins. And then we're going to come over here. We've got a couple more varieties. goodness you can hold it right in the palm of your hand it is and we call that a perfect pumpkin is it it's name ah, a perfect pumpkin it's so cute but now we can't eat these right i don't know if i, if I would eat these i've heard that people eat the spookies and the snowballs but okay. i don't know about these okay that's good to know <laughs> okay that's good to know and then do you think we can get even smaller than these miss hill oh, no. let's can see we? if we can get even smaller okay. Oh, she has some itty bitty ones. You're so cute. Look how itty bitty it is. This one I can even hold even right in the palm of my hand, guys. It's so cute. These are little teeny. They are adorable. Okay, and then we kind of have the little sister to your snowballs. Ah. These are called snowflakes. Oh, look at them. They are snowflakes. Yeah, so they're a little smaller than that first that. one you saw. Look at that. I'm still in love with these, that, this color. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it's just me. The white ones are very pretty. They are pretty. And then these are really fun. These are called elf houses. Oh, look at that. And it looks like a little elf maybe does live uh, in here. Look at that. size of our speak our, our um, snowballs that were white ah gotcha and some people do cut these up and make pumpkin pie out of them oh, I yum. heard it's yummy this is a really sweet pumpkin so these are our sweet pumpkins that we can make pumpkin pie out of look at that and you can hold this one in your hand too really that's really great. nice I love this that's great well, Miss Hill, do you have any more questions about our pumpkin patch today? Okay, so now is it a special place that you bring your pumpkins oh, in from? We do get these pumpkins all the way from a place called New Mexico. Wow. Way on the other side of the United States. And they brought all of these on a really big truck last night for us. Wow. So the farmers cut them out of the field just the other day and loaded them on their truck, drove it all the way from New Mexico to Florida. And then all of our lacrosse girls unloaded them out of the truck last night. That is a long drive. It is a long drive. The truck has kind of like a refrigerator in it, so it keeps them nice and cold. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. Now, I think if you do, and, and a lot of people say if you carve a jack-o'-lantern in Florida, it's better for you to keep it inside your house okay. instead of on your front porch because it's gotcha. so hot. Gotcha. And I had fun. We had a great time with you visiting. And all you first graders, hope you enjoy all our pumpkins. And hopefully you guys have a pumpkin at your house this year. Yes. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.